Thank you very much, and uh, it's a real honor to be here, and I would like to thank the organizers and Andre for involving uh, us, Serbia, in this, uh, not invol involving us directly to the project, but to, uh, uh, to open this information point. My presentation is sustainable plastics in Serbia, and I wonder whether there is sustainable plastics in Serbia. And uh, so far, I haven't seen any country that reached really uh, sustainability in plastics, and uh, we can discuss about that. But I would give some overview, and it's very similar to the situation in Croatia and Romania, as I see. And uh, I will uh, try not to bother you with a lot of uh, uh, statistical data. Our country is almost large as Indonesia. We have uh, 7 million people. <laughs> Joking, of course. Uh, recovering from uh, recent wars and uh, uh, with a lot of financial, political, geostrategical problems, but still uh, coping with all the challenges in ahead of us. And the good news is that we start uh, negotiation with the uh, European Union in January this uh, next year. And you will see it has positive but also negative impacts on our economy. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to, that, to, to tell you that uh, our flag is uh, proudly standing here. Thanks to Petra uh, Horvat, uh, she was very quick to, to add it and uh, we were very happy to, uh, uh, to make this uh, <clears throat> uh, information point. You will later in my presentation, we were a little bit late to do it because our market is saturated with OXO uh, biodegradable plastics. So if we had this uh, information for wider public, maybe it, we could avoid it. And now we are lagging the, uh, behind reality. Uh, National Information Point is located at the Faculty of Technology and Metallurgy. This is the picture here, which belongs to the oldest and the biggest state-owned university in Serbia, it's University of Belgrade, which uh, is 200 year old, uh, with 31 faculties, and uh, you can see what are, uh, what, uh, how they are divided and what uh, our faculty is uh, offering. One department uh, of our faculty is a Cleaner Production Center, and I'm coming from Cleaner Production Center, and for me it's uh, very valuable uh, to be here because First, I was working in academia as a young researcher. Then I went to industry, and I was working for 10 years as a manager of uh, uh, alkyd resin producing plants. So I was working with uh, uh, renewable resources because we were producing thousands of tons of uh, uh, alkyd resins. But uh, I came back to the university as a director of a cleaner production center. And our Cleaner Production Center is a member of a Global Network for Cleaner Production Centers. And maybe I can put a critical note here that we are talking here about uh, renewable resources, about replacing conventional plastics with uh, bioplastics and biodegradable. Maybe we should start thinking about avoiding using uh, so much materials and raw materials. Uh, organizations that I have contract with, uh, UNIDO, promotes decoupling. Decoupling means that we uh, can grow with decreasing resource use. Maybe it's utopia, but uh, we should really think about that and not just uh, going to replace kilo for kilo with some other plastics. Here you can see what are the, the, the main uh, uh, services that we offer to industry. One uh, very important uh, project that we are working on is chemical easing. I cannot uh, sp speak about that, I don't have time, but I would give you more information about that. It's about the business model which encourage both partners, chemical supplier and chemical user, to use less chemical products. So we uh, already uh, succeeded to reduce, for example, chlorinated solvent use for 70% in uh, one factory with uh, better results. 
Well, a little bit about uh, the plastics production. I could really repeat the words of my colleague from Croatia. We were uh, really a big producer of polymers and now it, uh, it came down to two producers. One is a big, big uh, petrochemia and the other is uh, Hippo. Both are, uh, they, they cannot really break even, but they work because uh, state cannot uh, let them down because of uh, unemployment. And uh, here is a statistics of production of uh, polymers in Serbia. You can see that there was, a, of course, a sharp drop in 2009, but now in 2011, uh, production of both polyethylene and polypropylene is around 160,000 tons. Uh, a lot of polymers are imported, especially PET. You can see it's uh, 50,000 tons. So you, when you do a simple math, you, you can come up with a consumption of around 300, 330,000 tons of all polymers together per year. Now, I should say that most of the polymers, uh, it's similar, like in other countries, it's used in piping and uh, profiles and everything, but there, in uh, closed circuits, cl closed industries, there is no problem of um, recycling. They normally, our, our center for clean production uh, work with a lot of uh, manufacturers and they use almost 99% of their waste. The problem uh, comes with the packaging. So I will concentrate from now on on packaging and we are now in a packaging institute, so I think it fit, fit perfectly. Uh, similarly to other European countries, we have uh, different uh, regulations and, and laws, and uh, I was really happy to discover that it works. So uh, Serbia, maybe 10 years ago, did not care about uh, plastic waste or waste whatsoever, but you will see the, the numbers, and especially it is connected with financial incentives, and I hope it will continue this way. Or, uh, Similar like in uh, Romania, we have uh, specific goals for uh, recycling of plastic uh, packaging and you can see that in 2012 uh, the goal, specific goal was to recycle or reuse 7.5% of all pack plastic packaging placed on the market. So um, uh, our system is working very similarly to the, the others. Uh, companies they sign normally uh, contracts with the system operators and they pay uh, uh, a fee for every kilo of plastic uh, packaging put on the market. It's around uh, one euro cent per kilogram. And uh, then operator takes over the obligation to report to Environmental Protection Agency and to fulfill uh, specific goals for plastics. In Serbia, there are four operators with the license for packaging waste. The biggest one is Secopac, but it's going down and EcoStar Park is bigger. Here, um, there is a breakdown of a packaging uh, waste, and you can see that uh, one quarter of uh, packaging uh, is uh, from, uh, made of plastics. I suppose that it's very similar to other countries. What is very good, I would say that uh, almost 90% of all packaging is in the system, which is, uh, I would say, a spectacular result for Serbia, which did not have any data five years ago. Uh, you can see that uh, there is around 100 tons, 100,000 tons of uh, plastic waste on the, on the market. Here are uh, uh, statistical data for plastic packaging and you can see that it's it's from system operators those four i i showed you it's uh, they reported uh, around 90000 tons of uh, packaging plastic packaging waste and half roughly more more uh, than half of it is pt and other plastics is uh, uh, 42000 tons and here you can see that our legislator was uh, very modest in setting uh, those specific goals. Uh, in 2012, uh, Serbia uh, operators reported 15.5% of reused recycled material, while the, the goal was 7.5%. I don't know what's, what's going on, but it's, uh, it's a really 
uh, nice surprise and uh, those days we don't have so many nice surprises and I hope that it will uh, it will uh, continue. This is uh, just a very uh, small fraction of all the companies that are dealing with recycling and it seems that in Serbia we are really um, this is going to bother Andre the, the next slide, so I'm going to, to show it later. Uh, it, it seems that people are making money in recycling, and uh, it is estimated that 5,000 new jobs have been created since 2009 in uh, plastic recycling industry. This is uh, the, the, the picture taken by myself. I didn't bring the, 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 the plastic bag. It's uh, the, the biggest retailer in Serbia, Delez uh, Tempo which is uh, distributing those uh, bags for free. And uh, I translated the Serbian. This plastic is 100% biodegradable. And this is really misleading because it's an uh, uh, OXO bag. And uh, you will see in the, in the green, if you can see that there is a stimulus for... Uh, uh, so if you are... First of all, there are fee and stimulus. So if you are making... Uh, bag and placing on the market, you pay 90 euros per ton a fee to a state. But in the same time, if you are producing with OXO additives, you get stimulus 73 euros per ton. So you, it costs you only 17 tons per, per uh, 70 euro per ton to place OXO uh, bag with OXO additives. While if you are not uh, putting additives. In, uh, and in the bag, you have to pay 180 euros per ton. So it's tenfold, ten times more. And it's not surprised that almost every producer of plastic bags in Serbia is using additives now. So it's a situation now in this. And uh, I put on our information point, I put uh, the, the position paper of OXO plastics, but maybe it's, it's a little bit too late. In the same time, this is all pictures made by, by me while my wife was shopping in this shopping mall. Uh, I, there is a big uh, presence of this plant battle by Coca-Cola. I read a lot on uh, the internet about uh, controversy about that. And, uh, but this is the reality. And uh, this bottle is, I mean, this uh, drink water is not more expensive than the regular one. So it's, it seems that Coca-Cola is doing well in promoting this, and people are really uh, caring about that. And we really should uh, help them by national information points to understand better whether they should use it or be more careful in using it. Another success story with uh, with uh, recycling. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe we are we are used to bad news in Serbia, but this is really a good news that. Uh, Almost 100% of uh, tires are recycled, and uh, we have to limit. Serbia had to limit uh, the quantity which is incinerated uh, to 30% because there is a huge demand by cement industry, which is almost 100% uh, internationally owned in Serbia. There are Lafarge, Holcim, and the others. So uh, everything is uh, collected. And you, you see that uh, there is a stimulus uh, if you are reusing uh, tires, 160 euro per tons. And if you are burning them, as uh, cement industry is doing, they are getting free energy that they get paid even. So it's, it's a very good deal for them. But I, I'm, I'm happy that it's uh, five times more for reusing and that there are a lot of, lot of uh, children play, playgrounds uh, made by, by plastics. At, at the end, I would uh, really uh, use this opportunity to promote a small but a very productive uh, research community in, in Serbia in the uh, field of polymers. This is a data from some, I think, Scopus. If you type in with all the mistakes that you can make in uh, internet research, there are 2,000 uh, articles dealing with uh, polymers since 2005. But uh, in sustainable polymers, there are only 45 papers. More, there are with uh, around 200 papers in uh, seven, eight years about uh, biodegradable polymers with the major players is, of course, University of, of Belgrade. 
our Ministry of Education uh, is financing, even though less and less, and we were on strike a few, uh, few months ago because uh, really the, the amount of uh, funding is decreasing dramatically. But, uh, however, there are uh, projects which are funded by Ministry, and uh, when I went through a database, there are currently 18 projects with polymers which are funded by our Ministry. And uh, out of two, uh, 18, uh, two are dealing with biodegradable polymers. Also, our Faculty of Technology and Metallurgy is involved in a, a project which, uh, which is uh, financed by City of Belgrade. It is about chemical recycling of PET, and uh, there are 10 or so people working on that. I put here some, uh, well, uh, some, some uh, uh, articles, uh, abstracts, about uh, biodegradable polymers. Not a not lot of them are dealing with uh, biodegradable polymers for engineering plastics or uh, some other use. Most of them, almost 90%, are, uh, are dealing with drug delivery and hydrogels and for biomedical applications. I'm, I'm really happy that uh, we have, uh, we have uh, uh, a very good researcher, Gordana Vunyak. She's now working in uh, Columbia University of New York, but she's dealing with, uh, with uh, bioengineering tissues with really spectacular results. But there are also some uh, LCA on packaging, and I was really pleased to discover this. As a conclusion, and I hope I didn't, uh, I didn't take too much time uh, here, we established, of course, uh, this NIP. Uh, one advice, you don't have to do everything. You just go there, and uh, you can fill in uh, later. Uh, there is legislation in, in Serbia, but uh, we need uh, really more sustainable management of uh, polymeric materials. I said that uh, there are pretty uh, very good results in four years of application of uh, polymers and in tires, of course. Uh, for PET, you could see that uh, all the quantity is collected, recycled, but it's just mechanical milling. And then I don't know what they are doing with this because there, are, there is a green tech uh, factory in, in, in Serbia as well, but I think that they are exporting this PT somewhere. I don't know what's going on. I, I know that in Serbia nobody is using recycled PET. Uh, as I said, OXO additives are all over the place. I'm, I, I don't have all data, but the biggest retailer hold, holds 30% of the market, so at least 30% of shopping bags are with OXO. And I'm, I'm sure that uh, even in some uh, small shops, they are using also this due to these financial in incentives. We do not have composting bags, even though maybe you could see that for composting bags, there is no fee, fee to uh, place them on the market. Uh, but so far, there, there is no compostable bags. And uh, preparing for this uh, conference, I just learned that one company is opening now in Serbia, but not to make uh, bags for uh, Serbia, but for Italy. I'm, I'm not sure what's the, what's the name and whether it is true. Uh, at the end, uh, I would say that we have really solid research potential. Uh, in your abstracts, I made a mistake. They didn't change it. Uh, there are no 500 researchers. There are 100 researchers, 500 papers in the last year, but Never mind, but it's really a good tradition, and uh, we are looking forward to be included in uh, some uh, projects and very open for cooperation, and thank you again.